and welcome back. This is Jennifer from West Coast Swing Amsterdam and today we're going to be doing a fun and relaxed variation on our anchor step. So I like to call this a lazy anchor step. In order to achieve that smooth and effortless styling, first I want to show you a bit of technique and then I will show you how to apply that into your dancing and then lastly if you stick around for the bonus at the end, I'll show you how to use the styling to elongate your patterns. P.S. If you enjoy our videos, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It lets us know that you're interested in this content and it lets you become notified whenever there's a new video. So it's a win-win situation. For the technique, we want to be able to transfer evenly and effortlessly our weight over the course of two counts. So when we have our foot rolling, we've got the tip of our toes, we have the ball of our feet, we have the arch, and then we have the heel. We have two counts to transfer this over. One and two. On one, I've got the tip of my toe on the ground and very little weight on this foot. On the and, I've got the ball of my foot on the ground and I have more weight going over there. And on the two, I have my heel on the ground and 100% of my weight is transferred over there. So try this with me. We've got one and two. One and two. A little faster. One and two. One and two. Now rolling. One and two. Roll all the way through. One and two. One and two. Great. Let's switch feet. Same thing. We have our one, we have our and, and we have our two. One and two. One and two. Faster. One and two. One and two. Now rolling one and two. One and two. One and two. One and two. Great. Now we'll do the same thing, but we're going to take our feet just slightly over hip width apart. Our one is still going to be our toes. The and is still going to be the balls of our feet, but the weight transfer is more obvious. And on the two, my heel is on the ground, and you'll notice that my standing foot's heel has popped up off the ground. 100% of my weight is now on this foot. So let's try that together. One and two. Reset. One and two. We'll go straight into the rolling. One and two. Reset. One and two. Two more times. One and two. Last time. One and two. Onto the other foot. Breaking it down, we have one toe and ball, two heel. Slowly, it is one and two. Reset, one and two. Now rolling all the way through, one and two. One and two. Two more times, one and two, one and two. Great job. Now we're just going to practice grooving from side to side with this. We've got two counts. One and two, one and two, one and two, one and two. So you're just trying to feel for that weight transfer and that smooth transfer of weight going from foot to foot. If you want to make this more groovy, when you are on the first count, you can take your chest over there as well. And then over the course of the weight transfer, so the and two, you can roll your body to align over your new foot. So it'll look a bit more like one and two, one and two, one and two, one and two. So this depends on the music or your uh, connection with your partner or if you're just feeling groovy that day. Now let's show you what it looks like in the dance. So when we're doing our basic pattern, there's an anchor on the four. We're going one, two, 
three, and four. That's our anchor. Now we've got the five and six, which is going to be the two counts for our new lazy anchor. Five and six. So I'll just do that again one more time all the way through. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. And at the end of the six, I like to collect my foot together before I strike forward as a follower or as a leader. One, two, three, and anchor. I go to the five and the six, and I also collect before I strike back for my lead on the next one. I'm going to show this now from the follower's perspective and the leader's perspective. First, we'll do the followers. I'm going to be doing a basic sugar push. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, collect, one. Again, one, two, three, and anchor, five, and six, collect, now for the leaders. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, collect one. And again, one, two, three, and four, five, and six, collect one. The bonus here is that you can use the styling to make your patterns longer. What am I talking about? You've got your six count rhythm. You can add two more counts to it to make it eight or two more to make it 10, 12, as long as you feel like. I'll show you from the leader's perspective. We're going one, two, three, and four, five, and six. And before we've committed 100% of our weight on the six, I'm gonna move back and do a seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now as I collect, 100% of my weight is on this foot, and I can go on to my next pattern. With music, all sides, followers first. There you have it. This has been the Lazy Anchor Step. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.